we've got a couple topics today. There's not a post-game show because the Mavericks play tonight against the Pelicans, which means you got a rematch with Zion Williamson, and uh, Dallas might have itself a little bit of a problem here because as was breaking during the show yesterday, Maxi Kleba is listed as questionable, interestingly, but he is entering a 10 to 14 day health and safety protocols quarantine. Now, based on this, it sounds like there's unconfirmed results with his test. Like it's, they couldn't confirm whether or not it was a positive test. As a result of that, as I roll here, let me flip this to boom, straight to the maxi topic. Uh, as a result, they're having to wait for him to be retested now today and we'll know later whether or not he'll be actually available tonight but in the likelihood that maxi kleba is not available the mavericks are going to be down another key player like that's four key players like josh richardson is still out dorian finney smith still out jalen brunson still out now you add maxi kleba to the mix it is a it is a bit of a disaster. It's a little bit of a convoluted mess for this team. And last game against the Magic, it didn't matter so much because you had the Michigan backcourt of 2011-2012 running wild between Trey Burke and Tim Hardaway Jr. You can't count on that every night, though, so there will be some hardships that you encounter along the way. Now, with Maxi's case, this is especially problematic because during this three-game winning streak for the Mavericks, Maxi had moved into the starting lineup. He's shooting a blistering, what was it here? A blistering 47% from three, I think, this season. Yeah, 47.1% from beyond the arc uh, for the Mavericks here during this stretch, during this like winning streak, which is ridiculously effective. And yeah, his, his impact is immediate. Since he got injected into the starting lineup, things have been working a little bit better, and his ability to stretch the floor has been invaluable. Now, last year, Maxi had a career year, nine points, five boards, 1.1 blocks uh, per game. And he went cold shooting threes in the playoffs against the Clippers, ice cold, in fact. But he's a valuable piece to this roster, and he's a much better perimeter defender than he gets credit for. He put the clamps down on Zion Williamson last year when they when these two teams met up, and he needs a lot more credit for that ability. You know, obviously in the playoffs, he had to take Kawhi several times, but he's got a lot more to offer this team. Let's see. Uh, here is a quote from Rick Carlisle, I believe. Yes, from Rick Carlisle regarding the situation in Maxi. Quote, the expectation is going to be that these things aren't going to resolve super quick in a lot of cases. And I don't know that we necessarily know what the time links are. There is a lot up in the air with this. Now, the three Mavericks I referenced earlier, Brunson, Finney Smith, and Josh Richardson, they're all still quarantining in Denver. They've been trapped in Denver since that overtime classic while I was out on my vacation, of course. And now... With Maxi's case, the NBA did contact tracing. According to Tim McMahon, the league determined, and this is record time because Maxi played against Orlando, 25 minutes against Orlando uh, the other night. And the league has apparently already determined that there are no other additional cases. There are no other isolations or quarantines that need to occur. So this is a, an interesting situation here where you have a guy averaging seven points, five boards this season, obviously brought a lot to the team. And yet, despite playing the minutes he's playing and being around the team and in a locker room, we don't have any other guys out. That's good news, but it is kind of interesting. You, you look at that and think, wow, what are the odds that uh, if, if he's... And it, I think what it boils down to is we don't know his results yet. We don't know because they were inconclusive. That was the word I was looking for earlier. They were inconclusive, and as such, they have to retest him today, but he basically had to go into that status that uncertain status while they figure things out so a lot to consider here maxi's obviously a very critical piece to spreading the floor for us he's a 
great rim protector. Again, averaged better than a block a game last year, especially with having not had KP through these first nine games. Maxie's been, I think, very valuable on that front. 